the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 39, are understood to be being embroiled in a furious row with the BBC over a documentary this week. The Cambridges have reportedly snubbed the BBC over plans for the broadcaster to air their special Christmas Carol concert next month. The event, which will be held at Westminster Abbey on December 14 is now set to be televised on ITV. It comes after the BBC TMS Royal documentary, The Princes and the Press Trademark, aired on Monday this week. The film, presented by the BBC TMS media editor Amol Rajan, reportedly shines a spotlight on the relationship between William, Prince Harry, and the media. However, it drew a furious response from the Cambridges and other senior royals, who accused the BBC of propagating overblown and unfounded claims. The row is unusual for William and Kate, who usually steer clear of controversies compared to some other royals. Relationship expert Neil Wilkie has analysed the couple TMS relationship for Express.co.uk, tipping them for a bump in the row once Charles succeeds his mother, the Queen, as monarch. The expert claimed that Kate and William, who tied the knot in 2011, have been fairly plain sailing in their relationship so far. However, he said, the next bump in the road will be when Queen Elizabeth dies, and Charles becomes king. That's going to be the point at which William will have a clearer idea of how many years it's going to be before he becomes king. The Queen has been resting recently after it is thought she was advised by doctors to pare back her busy recent schedule. Britain TMS longest-serving monarch stayed overnight in hospital for the first time in eight years last month as she underwent preliminary medical checks. Her Majesty TMS diary has been cleared of major events, including her appearance at the COP26 climate change summit in Glasgow. She was also absent from the Remembrance Sunday wreath laying service at the Cenotaph in London after spraining her back. Charles is sometimes reported to want a slimmed down monarchy compared to the Queen and is said to be planning a major shake up of the royal family when he becomes king. Mr. Wilkie said, there'll be a change in the way in which the royalty governs the country because Charles has got different ideas to Queen Elizabeth. So, it'll be interesting to see whether King Charles just holds the fort for William or whether he tries to be the king that he's always wanted to be and maybe creates a more difficult handover for William. Charles has also been accused of shirking the royal family TMS convention to stay out of political matters. In the past he has lobbied the government on one of his favorite subjects the environment as well as on other issues, including the Iraq war and the availability of alternative medicines. Charles sent 27 letters to former Prime Minister Tony Blair TMS government between 2004 and 2005. Mr. Wilkie said, he's obviously very strongly environmentally focused. He clearly has been in touch with ministers wanting to know what's happening. Wanting to in some subtle way shape government policy, which is very different from the way in which Queen Elizabeth has run the royalty. So, will he do that? Because I think William is in some ways more of a traditionalist than Charles is. I think William will be king much more in the image of his grandmother than in his father TMS. The heir apparent told the program he was not that stupid to believe that his role as king will be the same as being the Prince of Wales. Mr. Wilkie is the author of the Relationship Paradigm trademark series of books and creator of the online couples therapy platform, The Relationship Paradigm.